Hello, welcome to Code and Box Automation Lab. This is Sherful. Today we're going to see a brand new project about Maven, based on Maven. So we'll see what is Maven and what's the benefit of the Maven. And then we'll see how to configure Maven. And then we'll, based on the after the configuration, we'll create a brand new project. And then we'll see, you know, uh, based on the Maven, how we can, you know, uh, build our project, how we can execute the project, and we'll see the report. Okay, so this will be all about it. So it will be, you know, series of videos, since uh, it's it's a, it's a individual, uh, you know, the long project. So you know, we uh, I don't want to make a long uh, video. So it's gonna be a series of videos. So you get to understand and and follow the, you know, uh, the projects, all those things. You have to see all the videos. Okay, so please watch, please watch all the videos from the beginning. Okay, let's go start. So first, what is Maven, or why, you know, the Maven? So Maven is an automation or build project management tool. It is written in Java language, and used to build, manage project, you know, to manage projects written in C sharp, Ruby, Scala, definitely in Java. So it's a build project management tool. Okay, it's a tool. And based on this tool, you can build your project. Like could be any type of project, uh, you know, written in C sharp, Ruby, Java, Scala, or any other language. So Maven helps developer to create a Java-based project, obviously, as well as uh, as an automation engineer. You know, when you build our project uh, to do automate, okay. So our automation framework also can build on Maven. So why Maven? There's a lots of benefits on Maven using Maven. So there's a key. There's a some significant uh, benefits I'm going to highlight here. You can see I I put some uh, you know uh, highlights some of the key points. Central repository to get all the dependency. It means uh, you know uh, when you do the or, uh, build the automation framework, uh, we need to add lots of uh, dependency. Like especially if you if you build your project based on Java, like Selenium Java, then we have to add all the dependency based on Selenium Java and uh, some plugins uh, for test engine, other other plugins too. So all the dependency or jar files you have to you know install a uh, uh, download in your machine then inject to the project. So in uh, through the Maven, you know we we in uh, we can handle and manage all the dependency, all the jar files we need for our project. Uh, uh, Created sent there will be central repository and and through the central repository we can manage and maintain all the dependency without manually download the jar files and inject to your project. It will automatically handle by the Maven. All we, all we have to give some code according to the uh, jar file we need to do and then you know put in a one place and it will automatically you know maven will take care of everything it will download all the jar files as per our code and or and will automatically inject to our project so that's why it's called central repository to get all the dependency when we'll do a, a live project we'll see that you know how to configure and what do you what do you mean uh, about the central repository for our all dependency Next uh, point is maintain the common project structure across the organization. This is since Maven is a project management tool. The, the reason why because of this, uh, you know, point it manage and maintain the common project structure across the organization. It means like when you work any project, you know, so different people works from different could be uh, you know work from different places, or even in the same office. But when you build a project, you know you have to follow uh, a, a common structure so that everybody knows where uh, would be all the test cases, where would be all the utilities uh, classes, uh, where would be all of your reusable classes, all those things. You know where will go. So some because you know if I want, I don't wanna you know I can't put any class like test class uh, any place as I wish. I can't do this. 
as an organization uh, and and also working in a group we have to follow a standard process so maven will give us a that opportunity maven will give us some common structure so that everybody will follow that structure and and uh, you know uh, manage and maintain and build their projects according to according to that structure next is uh, maven has flexibility to integrate with ci tools like jenkins this is very very helpful uh, and a very important point so nowadays you know when you build um, your automation framework it's not only you script the framework but also you know you have to uh, integrate your framework your script with one of the CICD tools like Jenkins especially if you work in an agile environment so that you know you can uh, build and, and run your script as per your demand whenever you want you can schedule it and uh, and anybody can run it so CI CD tools uh, you know uh, Jenkins is one of the CI CD tools there's a lots of other other tools also but it's Jenkins is uh, uh, most famous and accept, acceptable tools and uh, and widely used uh, in our industry so that's why I give you an example with Jenkins so you can easily integrate your project that you build in your local machine or is or is stored in source control like git or github and you can connect your project with CICD tools so that you know you can trigger your script from CICD tools anytime not only you whoever you know have the access uh, to Jenkins uh, account anybody like your manager or developer they can go and they can build the script I mean they can run the script and 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 test uh, will execute it so it's a very helpful because you know uh, nowadays you know we want to run uh, like some uh, uh, a smoke test or sanity test every time the build happen and in 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 agile process this is happening the development uh, and deployment is happening very continuously so you have to make sure you are running your script your test script and you know uh, continuously when a new code or change uh, you know adding to the uh, sync or master branch or any specific branch so you know that's why Jenkins comes to the picture that's it's a, it's not only monitor or uh, uh, your source control or the new change being added to the uh, 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 the branch but also it uh, help you to build or or to trigger your test cases against any specific branch so maven you know help you easily through the maven you can connect uh, your script your framework uh, with the Jenkins tools it works with uh, the maven works uh, uh, with the smoothly other frameworks uh, exa uh, example test ng uh, uh, extend report ng those are the different different plugin that we use in our framework so maven it's easily work with all different kinds of plugin so those are the you know few key points that why we need Maven or why we use Maven okay so next is like you know uh, the configuration we have to see how we can configure it you know the before we move to the configuration you know it's a Maven as I said Maven gives a, a very common project structure uh, across the organization that everybody follow you can see here is the uh, one of the template I mean so when you install Maven in your uh, say in your editor like Eclipse or IntelliJ at that time you know it's a Maven will comes with a em empty structure or prototype or empty uh, you know uh, you can say design so this is the structure the Maven structure most of the company they use when they build automation framework so how is this it's a, like you can say this your 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 project will be based on you know uh, like there will be source folder and inside a source for folder there will be two main sub folder like one is main Java another one test Java so source main Java directory will contains the project source code like utility dot properties file or dot properties class page object uh, uh, classes uh, your all other reusable classes everything and source source test class source test folder 
directory will contains all the test classes all the test sources okay and there will be one file is called the pom dot xml file which is project object man uh, uh, model project object model is an xml file that's a hard of the maven when you you know install the maven uh, in your project or we build our project based on maven it will create automatically a pom.xml file and the pom.xml file will see it will uh, have the all the dependency all the plugins information that we need or we, we, we used for our project so that this file can have a central control to build and run our script okay we'll see this when we do the example okay so thank you so much and watch this uh, the next tutorial the next tutorial we'll see how to use maven or how to set up maven okay we'll see you next time